blue bud bleh. hi everybody welcome back to my channel thanks so very much for joining me tonight so it is friday night tonight and since i have absolutely no social life to speak of <laughs> i thought what better to do than put on full face of makeup and not go anywhere <laughs> but seriously just joking around it is Friday night it's a good opportunity for me to film I do have to get up and work tomorrow but you know I thought I had some fun it's been snowing and snailing which is kind of snow and hail and rain here in New York it's been very crazy weather so I'm more comfy and cozy and I had this little idea in my head I've been seeing all of these new blue palettes being released the Icy Betch from Tarte, Jeffree Stars, Blue Blood, Ble Blue Blood Palette. I said it right. And some other, like, just blue is like a thing right now. And I thought to myself, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And you know how all of these eyeshadow palettes, they all have that pop of blue. And that's what gets me. And do you know if before I bought it, if I actually just stuck my finger over the picture of that blue I probably wouldn't buy the palette. There are some that I have that are more colorful that have blues, but for the most part, those palettes with a pop of blue are just neutral palette palettes with one blue shade. Now I went through my entire collection and I pulled out some palettes that I thought had that pretty like neutrally kind of say there. I can't talk neutrally kind of side, and then that blue. And it's like I bet you if I popped out all those shadows. I could create my own blue palette. I'm not going to pop out the shadows, but I am sure I can create a blue look using old palettes that I have. So why don't we just get into it and see what I brought with me. First palette I brought was the biggest disappointment for me of 2018, and that says a lot because, you know, I always find a, may a way to make things work, but this was the Becca Volcano Goddess palette. And this blue, again, if you cover up that blue, it's not a very interesting palette. You add that blue, and that is what got me. And this was the shade that disappointed me the most on the planet. The first swatch was gorgeous. Every subsequent, subsequent swatch was just not, it was underwhelming, and it doesn't perform well on the eye. But I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of that. And besides, these neutral colors will be perfect for transition shades. Then I brought the gorgeous, so, um, what are you? The Sahara, I can't speak. Hello, Aphasia. Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. This is an absolutely gorgeous palette with like pans the size of like, you know, grapefruits. But if you cover up that blue, it's a very, very pretty palette. It's got this icy blue, which is great as a highlighter, by the way. But then you add that, and it's like, oh, I need that palette. And I absolutely love this palette. So we are going to make some of these work today. Then, of course, we have the Elamar palette. No, this is this is Elamar Cosmetics. And this is the Reina del Caribe palette, which has two gorgeous blues in here. And I absolutely love both of them. Then I recently got some Saucebox Cosmetics. I'd never tried them before. And again, they have these huge pans. This one actually has a mirror, which is pretty cool. It is a colorful palette, but it did have that blue. And that's really a really cool mix of like a powder and teal kind of blue. And it's really super pretty. So I thought I could use that. I've even got some drugstore brands with me. Now this is the Magnifies Color Edition. You cover that up, kind of really neutrally palette, and then you've got really two pretty blues. And that blue actually reminds me a lot of the Saucebox Cosmetics. It's got a, a different undertone, but it's that same almost pastel-y type color, which is really pretty. I've even got a NYX palette with a pop of blue. The Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights has two pops of blues and a lot of red and orange and neutrally tones. Then there is the BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics palette with another really bright shade of blue. And I'm probably going to swatch a lot of these blues and see what they all look and compare like. Compare like? Where did I get my English from? Then I think my favorite blue out of all of my palettes comes from the Cheers to the Beauty palette from Colored Rain. And again, that blue is what drew me in. 
And this is a formula that just does not quit. Let's see what tones we have. So that's from the Cheers to the Beauty. Now you can see this blue next to it from the Volcano was on the, has purpley undertones. They're all gonna have these different undertones. This from BoxyCharm is definitely a much lighter, I don't know what kind of blue to call it. And I wanna see it compared to this NYX shadow. Very interesting. This one's just a little bit darker. We're going to put those two together because they're the same kind of tones. Now this one is a matte, so that is pretty interesting. Let me just grab a white. It's very pretty in the same family with a slightly different undertone in it. And there's more of a satin in this Rimmel palette as well. And this is more along the lines of the colored rain palette, just with not as much shimmer. Now the Kathleen Lights palette I'm going to put to the side because those blues are completely unique. The sauce box is also different. You can see that one has a bit more of a green undertone. And it is matte as well. Now this is from the Alamada Cosmetics palette. And I'm trying to see which one that it might even go best with. In person, it matches this one a little, but on a camera, it definitely pulls a deeper um, and a slightly more of an icy blue undertone. And the other blue has a much greener base to it, so I may leave that one out. Now, this is from the Saharan palette, and I think it very much looks a lot like that one as well. The Saharan also has that very, very icy toned blue, which I'll probably use like in my inner corner because that's a stunning shade as well. And these last two are from the Kathleen Lights palette. This blue here is almost a blue black. It's so dark. It pulls more black on the camera, but it's definitely blue. And this actually has a nice little shift to it. And looking at my hand, I don't see any one of a really dupe in that color whatsoever. And I was starting to look like a Smurf, so I'm just going to take these off. To start out, I'm actually going to take the Becca palette, and I'm going to use this Volcano or Volcanic, yeah, a Volcanic Sand color all over my lid. It's so matte and neutral that I actually brought it all the way up to my brow bone. I'm going to go in with Granite, which is a very, very light taupe. It has a lot of pigment, but it's still very neutral. It does it. It's not a taupe that pulls with a purple undertone either, which wouldn't have been bad for this look. Since I'm going to be sticking in basically this whole color family and the blues, I'm going to take this one from the Kathleen Lights palette, which it has a name, which I'm thinking is Potion, but I wouldn't quote me on it since it's backwards. Go in with just a smaller brush because this one is pigmented as well. So speaking of the blue palettes, are you guys going to be getting either the Jeffree Star palette or the Icy Betch? You're not getting those, are you getting any other palettes? I'm not looking for this color to be the focus, which is why I am blending it out a ton. Now as far as the tones of blues that I want to go into, it's a very hard decision. I'm gonna take this deeper blue here from the Magnifies palette using my Morphe M330. And I'm gonna go as narrowly into my crease as I can. Yes, this color does have a little bit of some shimmer to it, but I am being unconventional today. 
because there are no rules in makeup. The rule is you do what makes you happy and makes you feel beautiful. That's the rule. So I put on my community tab a, I just put it out there whether you guys wanted to do the assumptions about me tag and a lot of you contributed to it and I really do appreciate that very much. I don't have a lot though so if I don't get enough I'm probably not going to do it but to those of you who have put it out there I really appreciate it. I want to take this darker blue from the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. The darkest true matte that I have. It has different undertones but it is working. I do want to cut my crease. I don't know whether I'm going to do a full cut crease or not but I have to get a few things and I'll be right back. I am back. I'm actually first going to lay down some of this blue from the Rimmel palette, which is a matte, and then I'm going to cut the crease and add a lot of shimmer in there. I just wanted to give it something underneath it. Of course, I'm going to use my e.l.f. concealer, which I don't like underneath my eyes, and I have, do I have any idea where my crease cutting brush is? Why well, yes, I do. I don't want to get shadow on this, so I'm doing it this way. difficulty of deciding which gorgeous blue I'm going to use and I think I've decided to use my Juvia's Place. I'm going to try this Alamar Cosmetics brush and I do want to wet it. That brush isn't working. It really just pops right in the center. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Now you do need to blend out these edges. I'm going to use my birch box and I'm going to go into this matte blue again. And try to blur any harsh lines. I'm going to go back into my Juvia's Place palette and I have to use this icy blue on my the inner part of my eye. Because it's just such a gorgeous color. And what the heck, I am going to take this from the colored Rain palette, which is Diamond Jubilee. And I'm popping that on the inner corner. I had to tap some on the center too. I'm going to take a big fluffy cat brush and I am going to take this near color from the colored Rain palette and just go above on the brow bone. I'm going to put a bit of highlight there too, but this first. I'm going to take the Luxurious Bling from the Colored Rain palette. And right up here, just a little bit. I want to add a really crazy bright pop of blue. And let's go in with this one from the Boxy Charm palette on my lower lash line. Using a Luxie Detail Brush. Okie dokes, I'm going to step off camera and do some liner. If I am ambitious, I will do some lashes and I will be right back. going to finish off the rest of my makeup too. Hang out for you. Hi everybody, I am back. So I'm totally transparent with you guys. I went and ate some dinner because my dinner was ready and to be perfectly honest with you, I was starving. So I did wind up putting on my Baddington lashes, which I really love because they are so super comfortable and I really like the way they turned out. I put some blue 
liner in my waterline. I added the rest of my makeup. I've, of course, added my highlight, which you know I can't live without. I figured, why not? Staying home, if I'm gonna go glam, I may as well go full glam. So here's my thoughts, guys. Do I really need an all blue palette? And my conclusion is, no I don't. An all blue palette is essentially going to give you a look like this. And I love this look and I will totally rock this look, but going through, and I went through all of my palettes, I totally have all of the blues that I definitely need. And it, you know, I could pick out three palettes. I don't have to pick out the six palettes that I did. I could totally pick out the three palettes and get a blue look just like I got. So for me and my thoughts, I don't think I need any of the blue palettes that are coming out. I have enough fun colors in my collection to play with and get just as cool a look, I think anyway, in my opinion. And that's the only opinion I have. But I do like listening to yours, and I would love to know your thoughts down below on what this whole thing was. Do you guys need it? What do you think? Do you have palettes that have those blue colors in them? All I know is that I had a blast, and I will have a blast talking to you guys and discussing it with you in the comments. And I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. This is my... This is how I want to spend my Friday night with you guys. So... Thank you so much for hanging out and sticking around. If you stay to the end, can you give me a little, let's say, something blue? Just just add something blue, like a blue heart, a blue flower, something like that, so I know you hung around to the end. But anyway, guys, whatever part of the world you are in, on and around, as usual, I hope you had an amazing day, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Hopefully this will go up tomorrow, which is Saturday, because I have another video. That has to go up tonight. But anyway, guys, I will see you very, very soon in my next one. Much love. Bye.